This physicist was the first woman to win the Nobel Prize, the first person to win two Nobel Prizes, and also the only person to win it in two different science fields. Maria Skłodowska Curie and her husband Pierre jointly shared in half the 1903 Nobel Prize in Physics, quote, in recognition of the extraordinary services they have rendered by their joint researches on the radiation phenomena discovered by Professor Henri Becquerel. This prize was awarded for her and her husband's work on radioactivity, which just a few years prior had been discovered by Henri Becquerel. Her innovation, which led to her numerous discoveries, relied on a device invented 15 years prior by her husband and his brother, the piezoelectric quadrant electrometer. Using the bizarre piezoelectric properties of quartz discovered by the Curie brothers more than a decade prior, she was the first to observe that the mysterious rays produced by uranium and discovered by Becquerel also made the air conduct electricity, and she could quantify it. So the race was on. Measurements could now be made with precision, and she knew that discoveries that could change the world might be right around the corner. So she needed to be first. In 1897, she first found that the quantity of these rays only depended on the amount of uranium present, and not on any chemical properties of the compound it found itself in. This led her to hypothesize that it was some feature of the uranium atom itself, and not some molecular dynamics, that was the cause of Becquerel's rays. In 1898, using the same method, she discovered that the element thorium was also emitting these rays, just like uranium. And because this was clearly not just a uranium-specific phenomenon, it needed a name. So she coined the word radioactivity to describe the emission of these mysterious rays. By this point, her husband had abandoned his own research on magnetism to join her more interesting work. Together, they investigated and isolated two other uranium-rich compounds called pitchblende and torborite. And surprisingly, these compounds radiated more than pure uranium, leading the Curies to conclude that there must be other, even more radioactive elements in those compounds. If she and her husband could prove it, they would achieve arguably the most significant scientific goal possible, putting an element, or two, on the periodic table. So they labored for three years, refining a literal ton of pitchblende that had been donated to her. Eventually, she isolated one of her new elements and named it radium. Despite providing evidence for its existence, she was never able to isolate the second element, which she had named polonium after her home country, Poland. Nonetheless, she and her husband got credit for both radioactive elements, and for this work on radioactivity, they were awarded the third Nobel Prize in Physics. 